Yes. Okay, welcome to another vlog. This one's called Cooking with Sergio. Today we're gonna make some some shrimp pasta. Okay. So here I got the angel hair pasta, you know, and I got the organic pasta sauce. You know how we do it, you know. Check it out. It's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. Then I'm also gonna make a little bit of a garlic bread on the side, you know, get the parsley ready and everything. Okay. All right, let's go over our ingredients. We have some raw shrimp right here. They're defrosting right now. We have some butter that we're gonna use for the garlic bread. The uh, pasta sauce right here. The good ass pasta sauce. And you know, I had some mushrooms in, in the freezer, the refrigerator, so I was like, you know, might as well throw them in and a little bit of salt and the green ingredient right here. Secret. This is what makes it fire. We got one loaf of French bread, some basil, you know, a must, some parsley for the garlic bread, and the angel hair pasta. Alright, as you can see, I put on my uh, water to boil right here. It's on high heat, you know, gotta make that shit quick. So we add a little, a little, a pinch, a pinch of salt, you know, G give it a little flavor, maybe another pinch. There you go, you know. There we go. When it comes up to a boil, we're gonna put in the pasta. Okay, as you can see, the water is up to a nice boil. So now we're gonna throw our pasta, you know. So we have our pasta in here, you know, we're gonna leave it for about two to three minutes. You know, we want it nice and al dente. You know how, how we do it over here. Yep, okay, so now we're gonna move here. We have our shrimp here. They're they're nice and defrosted, so they're ready to be peeled. You need to peel the outer skin right here until that comes off. I'll show you. All right, there you have it. They're all done. They're all nice and peeled. Look at that, that's how they're supposed to look. Uh, I got the small trim, cause you know, why do you need big trim? They're all peeled and ready. Okay, well the pasta is nice and done, so all we need to do is drain the water. All right, we have the pan nice and hot. We have it on a high heat, you know, gotta make that shit hot. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter, you know, like, uh, let's say like two teaspoons, you know, gotta be generous. Okay, just mix it all around. There we go. Ooh, great. All right, now we're gonna turn it down to like low heat. And then we're gonna throw on these bad boys. That's right. Nice and cooked right there. So we're gonna add a little pinch of salt, you know, to season those bad boys up. And here's where the magical ingredient comes in. You know, gotta turn up that heat. Just sprinkle it a little, you know. Just, just the flavor, not, not to like, you know, make it spicy or anything. Just to add it, bonus flavor. You like? Let's take a look at how these bad boys are coming along. Mmm, they're looking very delicious. So they're almost done, you know. Just like two or three more minutes, and they'll be ready to go. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna make the garlic bread. Here's a nice, beautiful, beautiful piece of French bread. So first of all, we need to cut it, cut it in half. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, be careful working with knives. It can be very dangerous. So you know, just take your time slicing that bread. So if you guys got any questions about the recipe or the ingredients, you know, just leave a comment, you know. Don't be shy, don't be shy. I will respond to you 100% guaranteed. Okay, so now we cut the bread in half. Beautiful, beautiful. Piece. Okay, here are the things we're gonna need. We're gonna need one bunch of parsley, some garlic, obviously. I got like three cloves, but they're like really small, and some butter butter okay 
Okay, we're gonna get like a small little pinch of this. We're gonna dice it up nice. And dice it up nice and fine. That's the word I was looking for. So first, we need to chop it up coarsely. I meant coarsely, not parsley. Yeah. Alright, here we go. You don't want no big pieces because you know that's not gonna that's not gonna look good and here at Cooking with Sergio we care about presentation and how everything looks. You know? That's how you get the, the views on Instagram. Right? Or am I wrong? Okay. That looks about good. So we got that on the left side. And then here's the garlic, so you want to smash it to take out the outer skin. That's the secret. If you didn't know, you know. Okay. This one's on peel. Alright, there you go. And last one. These are really small, so I got a, a few of them. These are tiny. Okay, so. So now we have to chop these up finely, too. Alright, what do you guys think? Do I, do I put it down in the kitchen or what? You know, it's fucking beautifully chopped. So now we're gonna add the parsley and the garlic to the butter. We're gonna add a, just a pinch of salt, not too much. A pinch, just just to flavor it. Alright, we have it all, all in there. Now we just need to mix it up. Um, if it's looking a little too dry, you know, you could add more butter. Okay, I added a little more butter, you know. Make it, make it a little better. So now we're just gonna add it and spread it throughout the bread. Comment below if you know where the spoon is from. You know, just a little comment. If you, if you know, if you don't, it's all good. So we're gonna keep adding it to this bread, you know, and just spreading it, you know, with love, obviously with love and tenderness. And, uh, uh, don't forget to turn on your oven. I forgot to tell you this, guys, but don't forget to turn on your oven at 145 degrees. That's what, how I like it. I like my oven nice and hot, so you just pop it in there. And they get nice and toasted. You know? That's how we do it here at Cooking with Sergio. Beautiful. Okay, so here's another little key, key secret. If you want your garlic bread to come out a little bit of cheesy and gooey, you add a little bit of cheese. Whatever cheese you have lying around, just, just a little, just to get that little cheesiness once you bite into it. Well, just just a little bit, a little bit, you know? Just for, just for looks here. Okay, so now the we're gonna throw them in the oven for um, about 10 to 15 minutes. You know, just keep checking on them like every 10 minutes, you know. I like them nice and toasty, so 15, 15 or less minutes should be, should be just right. All right, all right. So now we're going to put all the ingredients together. The pasta and the shrimp. So we're going to get a nice big uh, pan and we're going to add a little bit of butter. All right, we have the pasta nice and cooking. It's looking very delicious. 
Okay, so now we're gonna add the pasta sauce here. Mm. Okay, I just added the shrimp in here. And so now you mix it all in and you let it come to a simmer. You know, just leave it on low for like five minutes, you know, just to warm it up. And yep, yeah, and you're almost ready to serve. Well, there you have it, guys. The pasta. Now enjoy. Like and comment, subscribe, you know, for next vlog. What do you want me to cook or not? Check it though.